Hi, it's Chris, and today we are looking at my biggest automation that I have ever created so far. Now, this beautiful thing is doing one thing and one thing only. It grabs a list of YouTube um, videos. You can list all the popular videos. I've chosen the motivation niche, and it's basically grabbing all the YouTube videos. It's recreating them in a new, better way. So how it works is we're grabbing the video URL. We are then parsing it so we know the actual video YouTube ID. We are then downloading the information. We are using the YouTube API to analyze the video to know what the title is, what the metadata is, and how long is the video in seconds. We are then storing all of that information in the Google Sheet, knowing how long the video is. We are then deciding onto how many frames we should pull out from the video, so we can then analyze those frames. So we're not only recreating the video based on the transcription, we are actually letting the cloud to have a look at the actual frames. So the video analysis is visual and it's also through the transcription as well. This is our system to decide on how many frames to pull out and basically the longer the video is, the bigger the interval of the seconds is. So if the video is between 30 and 60 seconds, we want to take one frame every three seconds. If the video is between 90 and 150 seconds, we want to take one frame every six seconds. So we're not sending too many frames for the video analysis. Every time we launch the, the automation, we're also creating a new sheet within the spreadsheet. So each of the videos will have its own sheet. We are then downloading all the frames in one zip file which is then being uploaded to the Dropbox. And the Dropbox has a little automation on its own within the Dropbox that unpacks the actual zip file to the new folder. Here is we're waiting just 12 seconds for the Dropbox to unpack. We are then listing all the files and then downloading each of the files individually and sending it off one by one to ChatGPT, the vision, so it analyzes the frame. Once it has looked at the frame, it then stores that information for each of the frames in the new sheet within the same spreadsheet. We are then downloading the video again. Uh, this time we're converting it to audio and then we're downloading the audio, sending it off to the Whisper. So it then transcribes the audio and then saves the transcription to the new sheet. Once we've got the transcription, we are then sending the information off to Claude and we are asking Claude to analyze the video based on all the video frames descriptions. We're letting it know what the transcription is and we're asking it to create a new script for the new narrator saying it should be around 30 seconds long and we also instructing it to give us exactly 12 prompts that we're going to use to generate new images for the backgrounds. We're asking it to give the prompts and the script information in the JSON formats so we can then parse the JSON and we can use that information and make our request to replicate which is where we're running the flux model. So our images are being generated with flux. So from here, every single image is then downloaded and the URL for it is stored at the new sheet. We are also saving it the URL in this variable so we can then later retrieve it. And this happens for all the 12 images. We've got sleep module for each one of them. We give it about seven seconds for each of the images to be generated, which is always long enough because we're using the def model from Flux. So once all the 12 images being generated, we are also saving the new script from the cloud. We are then feeding the new script to the 11 laps. The 11 laps produces the new voiceover. And because we know how big the file is, because it will give you the size, we can then calculate what's the length in seconds for that audio, for that audio file. This is how we calculate the seconds for the audio files. We're rounding up the time that has been calculated and we're using the time of the narrator audio to set up the final time for our new video. 
so we don't have an empty space after the narrator is finished speaking because we never know how long the actual narrator audio file will last for. We basically then pass on all the images, the new scripts, we'll pass it on to create a mate template, which I created from scratch. It looks like this. We've got some nice flames going around. We got some motivational pictures. I've put the background music that I really like and I want to use it for every video, but we can make that dynamic as well. And each of the images is now set the time to last for the 12th of the total time of the of the whole new video. So then the video gets rendered, gets downloaded, uploaded to Google Drive, and it then gets uploaded to YouTube with a similar hashtag, similar description, and similar title. So the idea behind this automation is to utilize on a trending video and be very quick and generate a new video based on the trending video and upload it. So the next step for this automation improvement would be actually to automate the process of generating those YouTube links. So we can set Appify to go and search for the trending videos within the given niche like every day and then have it cross-reference, cross-check with our previous videos to make sure we don't repeat the recreation of the same video. So let's have a look at the original video that we've used for the reference and what our system has generated. So let's have a look. So here is the or original. Life doesn't care about your plans, your dreams, or your struggles. The world moves on with or without you, and it doesn't wait. It won't hand you success just because you want it, Nobody is responsible for your happiness or success except you. Accepting this feels harsh, but it's the first step toward real freedom. Life doesn't care about your... Okay, and here is what we've got. Our new original video based on the reference video. Life doesn't care about your plans, your dreams, or your struggles. The world moves on with or without you, and it doesn't wait. It won't hand you success just because you want it. Nobody is responsible for your happiness or success except you. Accepting this feels harsh, but it's the first step toward real freedom. Pretty good, I would say. And let's have a look at another example. This is the original video. Remember, whenever God wants to make a man powerful, he always breaks him into pieces first. It's a process with God. And when you start walking with God, people will stop walking with you. Not because they don't like you, but because you're about to sacrifice things they are not willing to sacrifice. Remember. I'm pretty sure no one ever said that. <laughs> it's probably a chat GPT generated thing, but yeah, whatever. Um, this is a video we have received as a result. Remember. Whenever God wants to make a man powerful, he always breaks him into pieces first. It's a process with God, and when you start walking with God, people will stop walking with you, not because they don't like you, but because you're about to sacrifice things they are not willing to sacrifice. So, pretty good. I've changed the font a little bit, um, so you can set your own fonts. I made it glow as well a little bit. All the pictures are set to great and um, black and white as well. Uh, we can keep them in a color as well. You can pretty much set it up to how you want it. Anyways, if you want me to, I can create a new tutorial where I explain how this is made. And if you want me to make this automation available to you, let me know in the comments.